Indy Mogul. Russell Brand's shot at American stardom, take two. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Get Him to the Greek. He's rock music personified. I'm a motorist. I want you to go to London and pick him up. Then bring him back here for the show at the Greek. Can you handle it? Definitely. It's love. I just want you to know that I respect you. Okay, now that's making me feel uncomfortable. Remember how awesome everyone thought Russell Brand was in Forgetting Sarah Marshall? An overnight phenomenon in America, he quickly landed a gig hosting the 2008 MTV Video Music Awards, where he then went on to compare Britney Spears to Jesus Christ, begged audiences to elect Barack Obama, and called George W. Bush a retarded cowboy fella. Now, while Americans generally support free speech, they don't take too kindly to foreigners weighing in on U.S. politics. The religion joke didn't help much either. So Brand went back to England where he was still a superstar. However, upon his return, he made a number of obscene phone calls to beloved Fawlty Towers actor Andrew Sachs regarding Sachs's granddaughter, all while live on the air on his radio show. Public uproar was so bad that Brand had to resign from his own show. But. You know what? When MTV looked at their ratings for the Video Music Awards, they were pretty darn good. So they invited Brand back to host in 2009, and the show had its best ratings since 2004. And also in 2009, Brand sold out London's O2 Arena, where, in between his stand-up act, 18,000 fans got to see him shoot rock performances for this movie. Plus, he's going to star in the remake of Arthur opposite Oscar winner Helen Mirren. Now all that's left to do is prove he can get audiences to the theater. How you doing? I'm fine. What movie did you see? Take Me to the Greek. How was it? Indifferent. Could have been better, but... Oh, what was wrong with it? It was just like... It was like too many like hidden jokes. It was sentimental towards the end. Oh, yeah. Well, Judd Apatow is kind of famous for that, right? Raunchy movies with heart. It was very thin. You know, that has no substance. Oh, no. I don't, well, I know they tried to give it substance. They don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the main guy who played the rock star? He was very, um, very rock star like. That's <laughs> He's a famous British comedian. Do you think yeah. he has a shot in America? Yeah, they all do. Just like Jackie Chang and all other foreign people that came to America to be actors. His accent is very bad, and uh, he's uh, not a very good actor. Oh, bad how? How is his accent bad? Because it's authentic. Uh, it, not terribly, no, no. He, he shifts from one area to another. Oh, so you think he's from one area of England, but he's pretending he's from another? Uh, God knows what, what level he's on. <laughs> <laughs> Whose movies is this? Jonah Hill, Russell Brand, or Sean Combs? Sean Combs, P. Diddy. Oh yeah? yeah? He looks hilarious in the trailer. Yeah, he is. Combs was interesting. Yeah. At least yeah. he stayed in character. How did he do in the movie? He did He did all right. He didn't, he didn't do better than uh, Ice, Ice T in um, New Jack City, though. P. Diddy? It looked like he was trying too hard to act. Oh. It, was, it didn't look like it was natural, like the rest of the, um, the actors and actresses. So do you think he should make more comedies, or Sean Combs just isn't an actor? I think he should do another movie for practice. You know my feelings about motion pictures. I know. Pictures. You're one of our favorite people on the show. My own feeling is this. In order to be successful and have any depth whatsoever, it has to be character driven. Yes. Not silly. And silly. this wasn't character driven no. at all? No, this was this was plot driven. Will you recommend people see this in theaters or is it a rental? What do you think? Me personally I say or is it a rental? What would you give it on a one to ten? Eight, seven, three. Things are not looking good for Russell Brand as not only nobody really seeing his movie, but those that are give the movie a six. And also, Beyond the Trailer has its own podcast again. If you want to watch us on the go on your iPod or iPad, just search for us on iTunes and subscribe. I'm Grace Randolph, and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer.